Here in the QCA, we are lucky to live along 2,300 miles of opportunity. That's what Living Lands and Waters calls the Mississippi River. Mike Coyne Logan from Living Lands and Waters is here. Mike, thanks for being here today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, exciting stuff to talk about, which we'll get to in a minute, but um, remind everybody uh, what Living Lands and Waters is all about. You've been in part of this community and many other communities for a number of years now. Yeah, it's, our, our, our main mission is we clean up basically trash from rivers in the United States and mm -hmm. remove about 13.3 million pounds of trash from 26 wow. rivers in the United States with the help of over 130,000 volunteers. So we, we really heavily rely, rely on a lot of people's help too to do what we do. Yeah, I, I remember, I think I must have been in high school or something and I saw some documentary that Chad was in and you know, I didn't grow up in the Quad Cities either, and it was just like this young guy cleaning up, you know, cleaning trash out of rivers and things like that, and how much it has grown, how much you guys have done since since you guys got started here is truly amazing. Uh, you do a lot as far as expanding awareness as well and environmental issues. It has morphed into something pretty great. Yeah, for sure. Um, you're getting ready to launch the Mississippi River Institute. Um, that's what you guys have dubbed it. It's your second floating classroom. Tell yeah. us about it. Yeah, so this, this classroom is going to focus on all the different river-related careers and opportunities out there available for high school students. We talk about, you know, even though a lot of kids that grew up right next to this, this great natural resource, this great ecosystem, but also just this important, you know, thing for U.S. economics yes. and the opportunities for different careers out there they're just not aware of. So making them aware of these opportunities, let them know what it takes to get into these different career paths mm -hmm. is something we want to do with, and highlight with this particular classroom. It's pretty cool. Uh, you guys are going to um, talk about different careers, some of which I think people would be surprised to learn about. Um, you're also going to have industry guest speakers. Um, so talk a little bit about that idea. Yeah, I mean, we've got speakers from, you know, commercial fishermen. I, I don't know if people even know that yeah. People for a living catch fish out of the river to sell in domestic markets mm -hmm. and the different fish they catch to sell um, to, to people that work on tow boats and what that lifestyle is like and mm -hmm. how you can really make a really good living if you work your way up into that pilot house or you know you work in the office to do logistics for those companies or the people that maintain the river channels for, for, for these barges that travel up and down and the people that run our locks and dams and just all the different jobs and careers that are connected to the people that load barges like grain that gets shipped out um, you know, not only shipped here in the United States, but all over the world. Right, and, uh, yeah. People, I think, you're right. I think people would be amazed yeah. to learn about everything that's out there. Uh, so along with classroom experience, uh, students are going to get a chance to get out on the water. Uh, talk about the canoes that you guys have kind of attached. Yeah, we just, we just purchased three 30-foot canoes, wow. and that's another way for, you know, one of the biggest but the biggest parts of our mission is, you know, we're going to also, you know, talk about these different careers, but also just, you know, the importance of it as an ecosystem, as a natural resource. And what better way to do that than actually get kids out there and appreciate it for its own natural beauty and, and enjoy it. So it just, And it sounds fun. Like, yeah, <laughs> at the end yeah. of the day, it just sounds like a blast. Uh, so where is the uh, new floating classroom, the, the institute, I should say, where, where are you guys going to travel? S uh, so we start here in the Quad Cities. We're going to hold uh, classes um, April and May, and then we'll oh, be uh, moving down to St. Louis uh, in the summer after our barge party on June 13th, and yeah. then continue to travel different places up and down the uh, Mississippi River to just bring students from different locations and different cities along the river to, to let them know about these different career opportunities. That's really fun. Uh, the barge itself has a pretty cool history. Um, we were seeing images of it. It looks beautiful, but it's actually it's very old, correct? It, it's comes. It's a shell of a steam-powered crane. It's got that, and you guys had folks out in Clinton kind of help you construct this whole thing. It looks really state-of-the-art, but there's a lot of history that's inside it. Yeah, so it's an old, uh, you know, crane cab from the things that used to build the old wicker locks and dams. So okay. it's repurposed material, kind of sticking to our theme to reuse and so repurpose cool. old materials yeah. and make it look, look cool and and useful. Yeah, it looks really cool, especially the inside, what you guys have done with it. Uh, so how do people sign up for these classes? So uh, all the classes were, were, were booked from April to May for the most part, but uh, we have our website at livinglandsandwaters.org. You can go on there and then uh, uh, just just reach out to, to, to myself and Mike at livinglandsandwaters.org if you're looking to book stuff in the future or, or mm -hmm. just check out our website and get in contact with us and we'll, we'd love to like for the future next year. Get yeah, more, more absolutely. I mean, there will be so many more opportunities, um, you know, to be able to participate in that. I, I don't know a teacher that wouldn't love it. Yeah. Um, 
to introduce their students to that. So we've got the website on your screen right now. Um, you can learn more about the Mississippi River Institute and all things Living Lands and Waters by visiting livinglandsandwaters.org. And also you alluded to the barge party, which is coming up yes. in June, June 13th. So uh, you're not able to get your tickets quite yet, but you probably will be able to do that soon. So we should keep checking. Yes, for sure. Good food, good music, a lot of fun. Just a ton yeah. of fun. All right, Mike, thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Thanks Appreciate for having you. me on. Yeah. Of course.